I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my overview for you, Scorpio, for the week of November 30th. Now, Venus moves into your sign this week, so um, that's nice. So, you know, Venus in Scorpio, well, it's pretty intense, it's passionate, can also mean that it's going to be good for money. Let's not forget that Venus is the love goddess, but she also governs money. So, um, you know, with her being in your sign, uh, so uh, you know, during this time, she's going to have a reaction uh, interactions with other planets, and that will sort of form, you know, what's going to happen. But uh, it's certainly a, it's certainly a time in your chart where love can uh, just you know be that little bit closer to your heart. And uh, last week we had a lot of things that were falling into place and uh, being rearranged. Uh, so um, and some fallout and some opportunities. So uh, Venus coming in, I hope that is, is just something lovely for you. Uh, I have two planets in Venus, so um, in uh, Scorpio, Mars and Saturn, so I've got a lot of Scorpio in, in my chart, very strong placements. Um, all right, so we've got... Um, We've got quite a lot of activity still happening in your solar second house uh, right at the start of the week with the Sun and uh, Saturn are conjunct now and there's opportunities that can come through this week. There's at the end of the week we've got the Sun in a sextile with Saturn which does suggest that an opportunity can come through around money um, but there's also it uh, seems like there's al almost like a little bit of a stop start happening. So whatever it starts to come together, it may not finalize until, uh, you know, later in the week or th through next week. But the main thing that I see in your chart right now is that last week there are a lot of triggers to start getting things uh, happening. This week some opportunities are coming through for that, but there's still some level of frustration um, but it is clicking into place now um, we do have a couple of aspects with Mars Mars being your co-ruler and uh, towards the end of the week uh, when we suggested that um, I suggested with the uh, Sun and um, Mars bringing an opportunity and at the same time Mars is going to square Pluto so a square traditionally is, is confronting and Mars and Pluto together can be you know a real powerhouse um, so I would be very careful of saying something without thinking it through okay you want to really be quite strategic with what's going on in and around your life right now Scorpio and uh, you know sometimes if you sit back and let someone else do the talking then it's amazing what they can reveal to you um, rather than you stepping forward and um, you know, taking control. So you you know you you're quite capable of being strategic. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is a time when I would do that. Now, money with work. It, there's certainly an opportunity coming through around money and work as well. So as I said, things are starting to even out and straighten out. Um, give it time, <coughs> excuse me, just be a little bit patient and a little bit strategic and let's see what happens. Okay, love and luck to you. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.